Well, hello there, my beautiful kings and queens. How y'all doing out there? Unless you better know it, better believe it, and you showed up and deliver it. Um, I'm waiting for my car to warm up. So if you hear noise in the background, mind your business. Um, <clears throat> this weather needs to see a therapist. One minute, it's nice. The next minute, it's not. Yesterday, you could have baked cookies on the hood of your car. Today, you can freeze warm. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Please mind your entire business. So while I'm here waiting for the car to warm up, I'll turn it down a little bit because I feel like I'm yelling. While I'm waiting for the car to warm up, what's the day, the 23rd? I'm gonna go to my prayer book. I hope y'all got your copy. 31 prayers, you can pray in 60 seconds or less. Also comes with scriptures and some words of encouragement, which I call nuggets. You can get it from a website, get it from Amazon, or you can get it from me. This and other books that I have. Amen. Y'all know what? I was just talking about the weather, and guess what today's prayer is about? I guess God said, yeah, I'm going to get you. Okay. Day 23. Prayer about the weather. Thank you for another day. I pray that I do not complain about the weather. Some complain that the summer is too hot and then complain that the winter is too cold. I ask that you forgive me for the times that I have complained about the weather. I thank you for showing me that I should thank you for all seasons. I thank you now for all seasons because you are the creator of them all. You are in control and you know what you are doing. Meditation scripture, Psalms 109 verse 19. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. The nugget of words of wisdom. To complain about anything that God has made is an insult to his mighty works. Besides... Jesus is coming back on cloud, as the Bible says. Won't God do it? I tell you, his word is a two-edged sword, which I know I was joking. But anyway, <clears throat> we thank God for all kinds of weather because we're allowed to feel it, okay? And if you can feel the weather, whether it be cold or hot, hallelujah, you are alive, baby. You are alive. So um, at this point of the video, I'm going to say a prayer. So if you want to leave the room now, you may do so. For those of you who want to stay and pray with me, hang on. I'm still getting myself together to go to that place. One of those places, hallelujah, that paints me. And for those of you who don't know, visit my website, www lifecoachworksllc.com and click on the services that I provide. I'm also a notary. And um, look at my books. But anyway, let's pray. We have to pray over these days. Whoa, glory be unto God. All right, so those who want to pray, stay. Those who are ready to go, go. Here we go. Father, we thank you right now. We praise you. We bless you. We magnify you. We glorify you. We lift you up. We thank you, God, for who you are. And we thank you, God, for who you made us to be. We thank you, Lord, for another day to forgive and to be forgiven. We ask, God, that you heal those who have been hurt by anything we said done a thought against them or all who and all that concerns them. And we pray, God, that you and we thank you for healing us of all that was said, done, and thought towards us towards all who and all that concerns us. We thank you, God, for once again giving us life, health, and strength, food, clothes, and shelter, and all the necessities of life. And we pray, Father, for those who are in need today, that you will meet their needs. We thank you, God, that you are the supplier of our every need. We thank you, God, for working all things together for good for us because we love you and we're called according to your purpose. Thank you, God, for opening doors that no man can close, but closing doors that no man can open. 
We thank you, God, because you before us who can stand against us. We thank you no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rise against us in judgment shall be condemned. Thank you for not allowing any evil to come now our dwelling or overtake us. We thank you, God, for making us the head and not the tail, the limb and not the bar above and not beneath. Thank you, God, for blessing us to be a blessing. We pray that you bless those who bless us and those who try to curse us. Let the curse fall on them instead. May our enemies continue to become confused and war against each other instead of against us. Whatever they devise to use against us, let it turn on them. We thank you, God, for traveling mercies today. And every assignment launched out against your people is canceled, God. Whatever we bind on this earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on this earth is loose in heaven. We bind all demonic spirit, negative energies, anything that's not like you. We do not give them permission to operate in our lives or the lives of those who concern us. And we thank you, God. And we loose everything that you have given to us that pertains to life and godliness. And we call those things unto us now. Money that answers all things coming to our lives. That answers all things that requires money and leaves an overflow. Thank you, God. All of our bills are paid on before time. We all no one anything except the love you give us to give them. We thank you, God, for increased discernment to know the difference between good and evil, right and wrong. Grant us the strength, the knowledge, the wisdom, and all that we need to live the lives that you have called us to live. Free us up from every form of slavery, every form of bondage that keeps us from living the lives that you have provided for us, Lord God. We thank you for the more than abundant life, which is more than material. We thank you for an abundance of love, an abundance of joy, an abundance of peace, an abundance of strength, Lord God, to carry us throughout the day. Thank you for the angels that you have assigned to us. May they go forth to prepare our way and camp around us to keep us safe. Thank you, Lord. We pray that you bless our places of prayer, our places of worship, our places of residence, our means of transportation, our job, finances, schools, children's schools, daycares, and everything that concerns us. We're praying, God, for the innocent to be set free, Lord God, to be vindicated. We're praying, Lord God, for those who are lost and missing to be returned to their loved ones. We're praying, Father, for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, that you will give them a supernatural comfort, Lord God, and not allow the enemy to use it as an opportunity, as a weapon against them. And we pray, God, for those, the, the, your people, the innocent, who have lost their livelihoods, especially at the hands of the wicked. We pray, God, that you will cause everything to be restored back unto them. We're praying for the innocent in places of war and those who are in places of famine, those who hunger, those who thirst, those who are sick and shut in, those who are rehabilitating. We pray, Lord God, that you will bless them spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, in every which way. And those who are responsible for these situations, Lord God, for, these, for your people and even your creation, Lord God. Let them be held accountable, Lord God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that all that has been lost, missed, stolen, or borrowed from us and even from our ancestors that was never repaid. We pray, Lord God, that you will cause it to be um, returned to us now. And we thank you and we praise you, God. We thank you, God. Yes, yes. Let the works of the wicked be destroyed, Lord God. And we are praying for godly leadership to replace the ungodly. And we thank you for favor with man and with you wherever it is needed. And we declare on this day that this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come with me. Let it be well with our souls. We thank you, Lord God. Where our feet go, it becomes holy. With our hands touch and prosper. Thank you for gifts and talents that make room for us and prosper us. And we bless your holy name. May you be glorified in what we say and what we do. And the most important, God, let your will be known and let your will be done in our lives and the lives of those connected to us. And anyone who comes in contact with us, let them have an encounter with you. Every ungodly plan, plot, scheme, strategy, story, lie, set up, spell, curse, launched out against us, even negative words. Against us and against all who concerns us is canceled. They will not come to pass. Prophet knows to see against us. But your will, God, shall come to pass in our lives and the lives of those who concern us. And we love you, God. And we praise you. We bless you. In your name we pray. And we say amen. People of God, thank you for taking time to uh, spend with me this morning and pray with me. If you stayed on, um, if these videos bless you, Cause I see people, they be like, "Ooh, girl, I watch your video." Ooh. 
uh, like my stuff, comment on it, share it, join my, um, subscribe to my YouTube page, and follow me on social media. Okay. Be a blessing. I love you. <laughs>